Get ready for your daily dose of marketing strategies and tactics from entrepreneurs with the guile and experience to help you find success in any marketing capacity. You're listening to Marketing School with your instructors, Neil Patel and Eric Sue. Welcome to another episode of Marketing School. I'm Eric Su. And I'm Neil Patel. And today we are going to talk about what Google My Business is exactly. So basically, Google My Business allows you to get your free business listing on Google. So think about, um, you know, this is going to help you organize kind of your local listings. If you have different uh, brick and mortar locations, uh, you can claim your business, you can verify it. But it's basically a start of getting, you know, the things going for visibility in Google Maps and Google Search, basically local, right? So, um, you know, Neil, have you done anything around um, Google My Business? I have. So if you live in Seattle and you type in like, I'm kind of a big deal in Neil Patel, I've even claimed a building already. I even changed my hours to be open 24 hours a day. Uh, no holidays, you know, has my phone number and everything like that. But it's kind of interesting because I claimed, uh, you know, I also live in a hotel there. So I claim my condo unit. And the funny part about that is when people search for the hotel in Seattle, it also shows my information. But um, yeah, it, it works quite well. The thing with Google Locals or Google My Business, whatever you want to end up calling it, is you can have multiple spots if you have multiple locations. A lot of people forget that, oh, I can only have one spot. No, that's not the case. If you have 10 different locations, you can have an address for 10 different locations. And by doing this, you'll continually generate more and more uh, business from it. But just claiming your listing isn't enough. You need to get the reviews going. So the more reviews you get, if you have five stars, you're going to do way better than if you had no reviews or if you had three stars. That is a huge important point that most people forget. It's not just about claiming your listing. You need to be descriptive, explain what you do, and have a ton of positive reviews. Yeah, and there's a ton of tools out there. You know, it's about the reviews. You know, uh, you can call them citations. Uh, it's it's about having the right. You have to have consistency in terms of your um, your kind of you know name, address, and phone number as well. There's a whole host of factors that we can go on about, but these podcasts are short, so I, I do recommend checking out uh, local search ranking factors. Um, and there's a lot of you know annual guides talking about okay, these are the most most important factors. Um, but guess what? You know, reviews uh, play into it. We're still talking SEO here, right? Links still matter uh, in this case too. Um, and you know, that's how you're going to push yourself up. What I can say is I can share a story. There's a New York Times piece, and I recommend Googling this as well, about uh, locksmiths, right? So I think this is an Israeli-based company, and they just claimed a bunch of listings in the United States. They're not really based here, but you know, they just have a bunch of listings for locksmiths, and they just kind of own the whole thing. I, from what I heard, you know, their revenues went from you know a couple million and all the way up to 81 million or something like that. Um, you know, utilizing Google My Business. So uh, just FYI, you know, you don't want to abuse it like this, but just saying, you know, the the possibilities are are good. So you should be looking at it if you do have, you know, a, I mean, look at what Neil's doing, right? I mean, he's he's putting his presence everywhere, right? And the, we're doing we're actually doing the same thing. You know, we we might claim like multiple, you know, um, you know, we might be in different WeWork locations, right? And we actually do work there sometimes, so we'll claim those locations too. Um, so just you know, keep that in mind and um, you know, test it out for yourself. Yeah, have fun with local listings. Again, don't abuse it. And that company who went from whatever, a few million to 80 million or whatever number is, I bet you a lot of the listings will get removed now because they went public with it or yep. someone went public with it. Yep, true. So, um, yeah, don't abuse it. Um, just, you know, do it where it's it, it actually makes sense and um, you should be okay. And hopefully you um, – the good thing about Google My Business too is that you can go in and check your analytics too to see – you know, if the your search impressions are going up and people are clicking on your listing or not. Um, so it's just, you know, Google's getting a little better at, at, at caring more about local businesses. And that's that's good for everyone here. So uh, that's it for today. And we'll see you tomorrow. This session of Marketing School has come to a close. Be sure to subscribe for more daily marketing strategies and tactics to help you find the success you've always dreamed of. And don't forget to rate and review so we can continue to bring you the best daily content possible. We'll see you in class tomorrow right here on Marketing School.